back to a new tutorial series of C programming. So on the first part of this tutorial I am going to demonstrate how to create a simple program and how to save it, how to compile it and finally how to run that program. So before going to create our first C program you need to download some software packages. So you need a software package called the C compiler to compile and run a program on your computer. So C is an older language so uh, using the classical C programming compiler is not possible on the modern operating systems like Windows 7 or Windows 8. So you need to go for a third party, any third party ITE source compiler for compiling and running C programs on your systems. So there is a lot of IDEs are available on the uh, web. So you can download any appropriate one. Here I using the dev C++ ITE for creating and for compiling and running C programs on my computer. Uh, you can download it free. You can download it from the web for absolute free. Uh, so here I open the dev C++ ITE. So here I am going to start a new program. So I choose the file option and click the new and choose a new source file. Okay. Now here is the source file is appear on the IT. Here I am going to create my first program in C. Of course the first program in C is a program that print out a greeting message on the output console. So in the first part I will just I just demonstrate how to write a program and how to compile it and how to obtain the output. Uh, I'm not the I'm not explaining the program completely I just create a simple program. So the first step is to you have to include appropriate header files into your programs. A header file is nothing but the predefined file that contains syntax and semantics of a programming language. So here I just use some input output functionality. Here I just print out a string, a message on the output console. That means here I use some output functions in C program. So I need to import, I need to include the header file that support, that contains index and semantics of uh, output functions like printf. So here is the first header file. Type in include. This is the syntax of including a header file in C program and put this symbol and here is the first header file stdio.h stdio.h dot h means dot header file stdio standard input output dot header file okay so every program must contain a function called the main function the main function is known as the head of a C program that means the program is executed from the main method that means it is the starting point of a program so this is the syntax of using main method first you have to specify the return type here the return type is integer for representing integer we use the keyword called int int and now specify the method name here the method name is main so every method must contain this bracket. This bracket is essential for every method in C program. Now I open the open this type of brackets. This is uh, this is parentheses and this is curly brackets. Actually, this brackets represents the boundary of a function. Actually, that means the main method is start from this bracket and it end on this bracket. Okay, so this program we just want to print out a message on the output console. So for printing a message on the output console we use a function called printf function. So this is the syntax of using a printf function and put this parenthesis and specify some double quotes. You can put your message on these double quotes. This is the syntax of using printf function in C program. Hello from First program, just print a message and you need to put a semicolon here. Semicolon indicate end of a statement in a C program. So if you forget to include this semicolon, that means that it's not a statement. That will cause an error. 
Now this function will return an integer value. So you have to return some integer value. So I return 0. Okay, now I complete my first program in C. So now I have to save it. So I choose the file and save us. I save it on my desktop. On my desktop, I already created a folder called the C programs. I save it with the file name first first program dot C dot C every program every C program must save it with the file extension dot C and here I specify the C source file and click save now I successfully save this program into a folder named the C programs on my desktop now you can see that this is the source file that I recently saved okay now we can compile now this this is the source file that means we return the program in high level language actually this program is not understood by the system so you need to convert this program into machine code so we have to compile this so whenever we compile the program the compiler will convert this source code into some machine code format so I am going to compile it so for compiling this program I just go to this option okay on the execute option you have to compile it here is the option for compiling the program I just click compile you can see the process here now the compilation is success with zero error that means there is no warning or error on the on our program now you can run it so now the program contain no error that means now we successfully convert this program into machine code format now go to my desktop and look at it here you can see that here is the machine code for this program you can open it on notepad I just open it on notepad you can see that some uh, some unwanted symbols some uh, symbols are there a lot of characters with some uh, and when the symbols are there this is the machine code for of machine code for this program now you can run it I just double click that you can run it so I am going to run it on from my IDE so I execute run it here is the output of my first program in C okay guys please subscribe my channel now for getting more video updates thank you for watching see you in the next part